Hello everybody, welcome back and I am the Charnik and today ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna talk about Pokemon Sun and Moon anime ladies and gentlemen, yes we are and today we're gonna discuss who Ash's future traveling companions are gonna be for the Alola region. Now this is a, of course if he loses the Kalos League and if he moves on to the next region. Now of course he could win the Kalos League and we could get brand new characters, a brand new protagonist, perhaps maybe Ash does continue to the Alola region but he doesn't compete for badges or maybe he does compete for badges. I don't know if he's allowed to or not uh, But if he does become the champion of the Kalos League uh, Perhaps we could even see a spin-off of like him competing in the Champions League while we have a brand new character competing for the Alola League So eventually I feel like they have to do that eventually it could happen, you know, in the Lola region, it could happen in the next region after that, or one after that, or one after that, if history keeps repeating itself. But, ladies and gentlemen, the purpose is, is that they eventually, Ash has to win something. I mean, of course, they kind of, Pokemon kind of teach that losing is okay, uh, but, no, it's not, ladies and gentlemen, losing is not okay. Uh, <laughs> but they already t they already taught that like six or seven times, so something like that. So um, that's a little too much. I mean, that's, that's uh, you taught it enough. Let's let's move on. Let's teach them something else, like winning. How about that? <laughs> so let's have Ash win finally. Uh, that would be fantastic. I would love that. Uh, please do that, writers. Um, that, that's that's what I'm saying. Do it right now. Don't make the Pokemon fandom hate you. But anyway, let's move on. So, but if Ash does lose the Kalos League, obviously we have to start talking about his next region right now his next region is all the ba badges he has to get and all the companions he's gonna travel with so we're gonna start off talking about that now before I do talk about that I know I'm, I'm I know I'm, I'm delaying it a little bit even more but we have to first talk about this major point that I like to bring up okay this major point that's going to cover everything else I'm going to say within this video in terms of Ash's companions and Ash's future technically I want you to throw everything out the window about everything prior to X, Y, and X, Y, and Z. Why? Why do I want to say that? Is because I do not want you guys to be biased about what happened in the past. The reason why I'm saying that, especially in the reason why I'm supporting that, is because we have brand new writers. Brand new writers. The people before X and Y don't matter as much. They're not irre irrelevant as much as they were before anymore. Of course, history can repeat itself. Of course, the past is still there. But I want you to be more open with this discussion, considering that we have brand new writers. And these brand new writers have brought a lot of differences to Pokemon, including Serena being the first Pokemon girl, technically. Uh, to them, this is their first season. This is Ash's first start, technically, to them. Uh, and before then, he, of course, they brought flashbacks back, but the fact is that they're focusing on their own story of Ash now. So history in the past is not as relevant uh, as the X and Y series will be now. So if that, if that makes sense is what I'm trying to bring out. So the, the fact that we have different writers, they could go a different route than what the previous writers have went on. So although the previous writers may have repeated history and have them lose over and over again, these new writers could change it up, have characters come back, have Pokemon, different Pokemon come back, have, you know, whatever. They they even brought up Synchro Evolution, which was not even in the games. I mean, they could do anything, and they've shown a lot of differences compared to the other writers, and their stories and just the series in general of the XY and XY and series, XYZ series, have just been incredibly, just tremendously better than everything we've seen before. And that I mean that to the deepest parts of my heart. <laughs> that we've just seen so much better out of this anime. We've seen so much better animation and better storytelling than everything we've seen before so these writers have done a great job um and that's the main point i like to bring up and of course we haven't even started talking about ash's future uh traveling companions uh but that's what let's do this right now all right the number one traveling companion that the people want to bring back is serena yes serena because mainly because i'd say a more shipping but it's also because people really, really began to really love Serena as a character. She's grown tremendously through her Pokemon performances. And especially with Puplio, that Pokemon that they uh, discreetly they put in the description of it. Is that it likes to perform and everything. It's good for performances. Boom, right there. The Serena getting Puplio and continuing her performances in the Alola region. 
Of course, at the end, uh, a couple episodes back when we see Yashio giving Serena her card, um, telling her to call her when she's satisfied with her journey with Ash. When she's satisfied, that's the key, is that we have to think about that. She's When she's satisfied, she'll call Yashio and blah, blah, she'll become her student, her prodigy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but the thing is, is once she's satisfied or once she's done with her journey with Ash, come call her, come blah, 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 let's go train. Now, if she does go and call Yashio, perhaps Yashio will say something as if, like, she's maybe going to try to teach Serena how to become the queen of the Alola region. Because she's teaching Ariana to stay queen of, like, the Kalos region. Perhaps maybe Serena could become the queen of the Alola region. Perhaps that's where... Yashio is going to send her Serena. So that's what we have to understand here is that Serena, that card can mean a bunch of different things. So, of course, Serena could end up taking that card and just leaving. Maybe that's her ticket to not traveling with Ash anymore. But, of course, once Serena has to be satisfied with her journey with Ash. So, nonetheless, the Amor shipping, I think, in some way, shape, and form will be satisfied by the end of X, Y, and X, Y, and Z. If not, then, you know, just people are going to feel really sad. But, I mean, tough luck, right? <laughs> but, I mean, like, people are going to, it's just going to be really sad for the Pokemon community that day, especially for more shippers. Uh, but Serena is an optimal choice for Ash's companion uh, for next season. I would really love Serena to come back. Uh, again, with the writers being different, they could have Serena return. Uh, remember, nothing is set in stone. No one knows anything yet. Um, we don't know anything until, obviously, when it comes. So, please don't be biased on whether, you know, you'll be like, Oh, history's gonna repeat itself. Pokemon's always been this way. No, okay, so shut, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just because it happened then doesn't mean it's gonna happen now. Shut up, you don't know. <laughs> Same thing with this. Just because, you know, I'm saying that there's new writers doesn't mean there's gonna be any difference. There could be a lot of differences, but... You know, you never know until it comes. So, let's carry on to the next companion. Next companion that I was actually thinking about is Shoda. The reason why I was saying Shoda is because, well, the recent episode, we had Shoda travel with Ash to, uh, I forget what the city's called. Is it Snowbell City? Snowbell City? I forget what it's called. But, uh, uh, yeah, where Wolfric is. You know, Wolfric, the Skyrim dude. I'm just kidding. I'm making that little reference there. But Wolfric, he... Shoda's traveling with Ash there, so it looks like Shoda's gonna travel with him all the way into the Kalos League. I'd actually be interested in seeing Shoda traveling with Ash and even getting badges along with Ash in the next region also. I'd actually be interested in seeing him do that also. And finally, what also makes me think that Shoda could possibly return is that one of the rivals in the new Sun and Moon game looks a lot like Shoda. Everyone was trying to make comparisons between the two. Of course, he does look different. Is he has a ponytail and he just looks different. He looks older. Um, but again, it, it does look a lot similar to Shoda. And we even had a preview where a Skeptile was dancing like Hawaii-like and acting like you know, kind of previewing for Sun and Moon. And they were trying to spice it up for Sun and Moon. So. To me, like, that was also a little bit of a hint of what could be Shoda uh, returning for the next season also. So, that's what I have to say about Shoda. Of course, that's probably not going to happen, but you never know. Again, like I said. Uh, but everything that I'm saying about characters returning is that the main argument against that is... in probably, Which is the most annoying, because it's the most common. The most common argument saying about things, people returning and things happening differently is because it's been always a certain way and it's gonna stay that way and history repeats itself and blah 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 and that's that's the argument the only argument I really get for people people that are against it or people that doubt it of uh, things changing uh, but again my counter argument to that is that hey we have new writers things could happen differently things have been starting to happen differently it could, they can continue to do so and Ash could actually finally win or have new characters from the older times come back or blah 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 or original characters come back uh so again that's that's what i have to say about that now let's talk about brand new companions brand new people that we have not seen yet uh for traveling companions of course Clement's probably not going to come back because you know lumio city gym he even said before in the beginning of the series that 
he told his dad that, hey, I know it's even until the Pokemon League, but I would like to travel with Ash. Of course, we don't know entirely sure. The writers may change it up and actually have Clement and Bonnie travel with Ash there. Or maybe Bonnie's a brand new character for the Alola region, because, you know, the Alola girl actually looks like an older version of Bonnie, kind of, I guess you could say. Uh, the, the characters for the Alola region could also be the brand new characters, brand new main characters instead of Ash. Or Ash and Serena. Uh, I mean, I even like to say that the brand new characters actually, like the brand new protagonists actually look like Ash and Serena combined together. I mean, they do. I mean, I'm not lying. I'm not just joking and saying that because it makes me happy by saying it. I mean, they actually do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, they could be the kid, but I'm not. I'm not going to say that. But they do actually look like Ash and Serena had a baby, and there it is. Um, <laughs> but I'm not going to go into depth of that. Uh, but they could just be brand new characters um, entirely if Ash wins the Kalos League and has his own spin-off series. Uh, but in terms of Ash actually returning and having brand new companions, I would actually like to have see him have two female companions, whether that's Serena and another chick or if it's two brand new chicks. like, And I would like it to be an athletic female protagonist. So one that's not doing anything girly such as performances and contests because those are technically the same thing the dragon trainer and the gym leader with with misty and what iris was was a little different you know uh but again i would like to see something that's different from all of those um not just training pokemon for battling and not just training them for performing performing but mainly have them compete in different ways such as sports i like to see a athletic female protagonist for the next season whether that's one girl or two girls, uh, that's that's my optimal choice for Ash's traveling companions. It is kind of also the reason why I put Scraggy Girl on the far right image there. It's because you know, let's just pay a little tribute, just a little reminder, just, just tag her right there, you know, just put her right there, just just place her right there, you know what I'm saying? But uh, she's kind of the reason why I'm thinking two girls is because you know Serena and her, her you know have like two brand new female companions. I, that's kind of why I put all these four characters here, is that we have Ash, a male companion, and two female companions, or Ash and two female companions. So that's that's my optimal decision. That's my opti If I had my way, it would be those four companions right there. It would be those four people for the next gang, um, if I had my way with what the story was going to turn out to be like. Uh, but please post in the comment section below what you guys want. Post in the comment section below whether you agree with me, whether things could actually finally change. Uh, post uh, the group that you wish to have, you know, whether it's, you know, what, what, obviously there's probably going to be a gym leader, the female protagonist is probably going to be a gym leader, in my opinion, uh, for the next season, probably one of the gym leaders are going to return being a companion for the Alola region or whatever, but anyway guys, I love you all, I can't wait to see you in the next video, remember, post in the comments section below everything you believe and think, if there's anything I left off that you think would be valuable to this uh, discussion, please post in the comments section below, I love you all, peace out! Thank you very much.